have arrived. We are here. We are Galaxies, and welcome. Welcome to our blog. Today we want to talk about handling all the negativity and the stress and the turbulence of these changing times. There is so much going on in the political system, and this is worldwide, although uh, here in the United States, uh, there's just uh, always tremendous stuff going on with the White House and uh, the and the Democrats and the Republicans fighting and a lot of, you know, fighting back and forth and mudslinging and, and uh, gaslighting and all sorts of corruption being revealed and craziness happening and uh, dominations and, uh, and uh, rollbacks and, and new, uh, new uh, stresses on the environment, on people's health, etc., etc., and and this has caused a lot of distress, and continues to as it seems to crank up into ever more intense uh, disturbance and distress, and the anguish and the fear and the pain and the hurt and the and the suffering just seems to expand more and more, and this is not just in the United States. Uh, there are bad government uh, changes going on in other parts of the world. There are stress. People are unhappy. Uh, people are losing money. People are uh, suffering uh, from regimes that are corrupt and uh, repressive. And uh, societies are closed and tribal. And there's infighting and, and so on. And so what does a sensitive spiritual person do with all of this. If you've been suffering from this, you've, you yourself not only can feel it psychically or emotionally, you can also feel it physically. We've talked with several people who have, have uh, intestinal distress, who have headaches, who have all sorts of stress-related complaints, uh, even though in their personal lives you wouldn't think that they're having stress, but the world is so stressful, right? And so, so if you're one of those people, we want to talk to you today about what you can do so that you are not at the mercy of the, of the government or the big corporations or all the, the drama and craziness, so that you're not at the mercy of your, of your banks, of, your, of the corporations, uh, of the media, etc. You know, you're not a victim. You're a divine being who chose to come here at this particular time so that you could dream a new world. And so when you're seeing the disintegration of the old world, it is really an invitation to you to step up and to imagine and to dream. The world needs you because you chose to come and create a new world. You chose to be a reality creator or you wouldn't be a sensitive at this time. You would be in another time when it was easier to be a sensitive. It would be easier to ignore the pain and suffering of others as just collateral damage of change. But you have a heart, you feel, you have compassion. You might even have compassion fatigue because of the so much suffering and so much caring. You're beautiful, dear ones. Don't Don't stop feeling. Don't go numb. Don't go hide under a rock. This is your time to step up and do what you came here to do. So first of all, we would say that in order to create for yourself and for the world, you need to be aware. You need to be present. And we're going to quote from an activist, Grace Lee Boggs, she says, you cannot change any society unless you take responsibility for it, unless you are yourself as belonging to it and you are responsible for changing it. Yes, you have to take responsibility, not just for your own life, not just for the lives of your community and and your country, but also for the world. 
Now, we don't say that this is not a burden to be carried. This is not a heavy weight. You're not going to take on the load of the world. Don't empath the whole world. It will crush you. No, instead, what you want to see is that you're taking the responsibility to redream for everyone, for starting with yourself, to redream for you what future you want. And as you imagine that, what are the energies that would come with that future? What would you feel in that beautiful dream future? The realities have split there, are people going down the tubes into the into the de path of destruction, into the nightmare future. But you wanted to make a new dream future, all right? So dream it. Now's the time to dream it for you, to step into it present, daily, every day, to step into it for you, to own it for yourself. And then, as you live in the energies of your chosen future, bringing them here to the present, living here in these ch energies now, you start changing the world. But you're also called to give love and light to other places in the world. There are places of suffering, of pain, to send your love, to send your light, to surround an area that is in turmoil with a beautiful, calming, peaceful love light. Do that. Take responsibility. When you hear of a problem, go send energy to it. Dream it as if, okay, what are the energies that would be there if that problem were no longer existing? What if it were resolved beautifully for all concerned? What if it were healed? What would be the energy there? Send that energy to that place on the world. Between that, giving your love and compassion to others, and then also holding the resonance for yourself, remembering, do not allow yourself to feel at the mercy of your external world. You're not a victim. You must stand in your victory self. You must stand in your radiant light being self. You are a remedy for the world. You are the creator. Own it. Allow it. So that when the time comes, which is not far off because you are very evolved, when that time comes that birth and death is done, you're going to say, wow, I did it. I created and co-created a new world of love and light, a world of benefit and caring and compassion for all. You can do it. It doesn't take a lot of time. You don't have to go march. You don't have to uh, donate all your savings to political campaigns. Don't get wrapped up in the drama. Yes, you can do whatever form you wish to do, but the most important one is to hold the resonance, the resonance of the healing, the resonance of the space that you wish the world to be in, and it will gradually shift for you. So hold these in your mind and remember this every time you get distressed by the latest crazy news. <laughs> we surround you with our love and our light. <laughs> Farewell.